happy sunday it's artsy and we're back for another installment in the developments in jamaica series because elon musk's starlink has been given the go-ahead to begin operating in jamaica if you want to learn more about this new development and what it means for Jamaica and the world, then continue watching. In addition, if you want to know what is happening in Montego Bay, then check out our developments in Montego Bay series and or what's new in Montego Bay series. Let's get into today's video. Daryl Vaz, Jamaica's Minister of Science, Energy and Technology, has approved the license for Starlink to begin operating in Jamaica. I must admit that until recently, I did not know that this company existed. The company owned by American billionaire Elon Musk offers internet services via their satellite constellation of approximately 3,000 small satellites in low Earth orbit. More on the possible impact of that later in the video. The satellites orbit Earth at about 550 kilometers, which is much closer than geostationary satellites that are around 35,786 kilometers from Earth. And these satellites are what other satellite internet companies use. But what does this mean? The higher the satellite, the greater the area it is able to cover, but because it's so high, it takes longer to transfer information, and that's called high latency. Then the closer the satellite is to Earth, the faster it can transfer information, and that's called low latency. But because it's so close, it covers a smaller area, which is why you would need more of those satellites. At present, Starlink provides high-speed, low-latency broadband internet to over 30 countries across the globe. The company boasts the ability to keep customers connected to the internet even during a natural disaster. For example, Starlink was able to restore internet connection to communities in Florida that were affected by Hurricane Ian recently. According to businessinsider.com, residents were provided with 120 Starlink internet kits to keep them connected. Starlink is able to support video calls, online gaming, streaming, and more. It represents another option for Jamaican consumers since Jamaica currently has only two major internet, phone, and cable service providers, Flow and Digicel. These companies use fiber optic cables to provide services to their customers. As a matter of fact, currently 99% of the internet travels across the globe through cables beneath the sea. These cables carry information at the speed of light. For the most part, they transfer information much faster and cheaper than sending said information through satellites. With that in mind though, why do we even need satellite internet? There are places across the globe where our current cable system is unable to reach and that may be because of varying reasons. For example, it may be that the terrain makes it too difficult to lay cables in that area. It may be that it's not cost effective to install cables in certain areas because there may not be enough people in that area to pay for the services. In addition, they may not be able to access certain places because of the politics of the area or even straight up war. And that is where satellite internet comes in because it offers greater availability without having to deal with some of those issues. According to Minister Vaz, we are working assiduously to broaden the connectivity across the island and Starlink is a move in the right direction because with satellite internet, even areas that have never been connected previously have the opportunity to have access to high-speed internet now. But satellite internet also has its drawbacks. For example, it requires a clear view of the sky. Therefore, tall trees and tall buildings may disrupt internet access. In order to mitigate this issue, you can mount your dish at the highest points on your property and in clear view of the sky. Now, how about cables? Cables can be destroyed accidentally by construction or even anchors lowered by boats. But there is also greater concern that 
during times of war, countries may destroy cables to cut off internet access. Though Starlink is currently ahead of the pack, there are other companies planning to also place satellites in low Earth orbit. That means thousands of satellites will eventually be placed in orbit around the Earth. This may affect astronomical observation and in the end, the planet's defense against possible asteroids.